Hello everyone, Kytus World here with a first look at Rabbit and the Owl, a negative space puzzle platformer. And this is a game by Gary Chow, I believe is how it's said, and it is currently running on Kickstarter trying to get its funding so it can go into full completion. So from what we understand, the game is about a vibrant land that once existed that is now a fraction of its past glory. And from it, two kindred spirits manifested as the rabbit and the owl. And through tranquil forests, harsh deserts, and crumbling cities, they will explore different shadows of the past, or they will reveal the different shadows of the past through something known as negative space. And I'm not too familiar with what that means, but I'm guessing it's all this negative black area that we see on the map right now. And it looks like each character has specific powers and you have to use their powers individually to solve puzzles and challenges that you face throughout the levels. I really like how the controls are already right there for me. WASD, shift, and space to jump. So very basic controls. And it looks like there's more up here, toggle co-op. So this is actually a really heavy co-op game, but we don't have a Xbox 360 controller or another controller at the moment. So we are going to be doing this solo. It looks like in their, in their uh, Kickstarter, they actually recommend playing it as a two-player game, and I can definitely see why. Okay, I didn't realize, but it looks like the game has already started. I seriously thought this was a loading screen too, but that's kind of nice that like you can just take your time to kind of move around and get the hang of it. So it says I press shift to switch. I'm not sure which one is the owl and which one is the rabbit, but I'm guessing this is the rabbit. I think that's the rabbit because it has the big ears. And the dress kind of looks like a cottontail. And the owl kind of has a tail, like with a few feathers sticking out. So it looks like we're already on the first puzzle. So W to use objects. Uh, okay. Hey, that's cool. So it looks like it's giving us a relatively simple puzzle to start off with. Any clue as to what that is? I'm really not sure, but I'm guessing we both need to get over there. Or it looks like I have to get to the other one, the, the blinking red square. Well, this is, a, this is kind of a nice warm-up. Yeah, I feel like this is kind of like a tutorial level, which I feel a lot of games don't have. I know, and it's simple, so right off the bat, you're like, okay, I think this isn't too bad. I can, I can do this. And I'll be honest, I forget the controls really easy, so having them there the whole time really helps. I know, and they're there, but they're not too, like, in your face about it, so it's nice and obvious without being too obnoxious. So it looks like there's actually more controls now. You hold the left mouse to create a block and release to place. Create a block where? Yeah, it looks like maybe I can only create a block in one world. Oh, I think it's I think it's the opposite of whatever world you're in. So if you're in Nope, never mind, I don't know. Let's try this again. I was thinking if you were like the owl and you were in like the white area. You had to create a block in the dark area, and if you were the bunny in the dark area, you had to create a block in the white area. Like, most be placed in opposing world. So I can create it outside of the space. It looks so like. I was kind of right then. Okay. There we go. Just hold that on record. I was kind of right. I'll take it. As good as I get. For today, I think. Well, we gotta take what we can get. So now I think you have to move the other one, right? Over, so that way you can... Actually, I probably should jump back over here. That way I can create a block in this space. Whee! We're colliding! We're colliding! Definitely a fun concept, I must admit. The music's nice too, I gotta say. 
And I could definitely see this being a lot more fun. And going way faster. <laughs> Having to cancel each time to, before you can move your character in single player is a little annoying. I think it would go way faster and be a lot more fun with two players. And it would feel more like a team effort. Like you're helping each other out. I like how you slow you start with only a couple controls and then it gets more complex. So that way it makes it a lot easier to remember them all. So blocks can be moved outside their initial creation range, push blocks by walking into them, pull blocks by holding control or F F4 for gamepad controls. Okay. It is getting a little harder. No, uh, it's definitely a little confusing, kind of. Oh, I want to shift. Here we go. Definitely hard to do both at the same time. Do you both of what? Like hold both of the controls at the same time, yet move. Mm. Gotcha. So I definitely feel like this would go much smoother in two player. It's an interesting concept for a game. I feel like. Like, it goes kind of slow in one player. I don't know, is it fun to play, or is it kind of... It's fun to play. a lot funner to play than it is to watch because you have to solve the puzzles and figure it all out and everything the controls just feel hard to switch i feel like once you play it for a while you'll probably get used to these controls so is it the, tut end of the tutorial or is there more it looks like there's still more levels well, yeah, but the other, the last three had instructions on them. So it looks like this might be the end of the tutorial. And so that's all the controls you need to know. Yeah, you might be right. Let's see if I can remember how to move blocks. So it looks like you don't actually have to hit F, you only have to hit Control to move the block. Which makes it a lot less confusing. I think this would be like a really good game if you loved puzzles and figuring stuff out. Which, considering how long you played Zelda for, that is a very good point. <laughs> I like being able to play as two different characters at once. It kind of makes it a a little bit more challenging than your typical puzzle game. I know, I think it forces your brain to like think in different ways. Like playing as a single character is pretty normal, but switching back and forth kind of changes it up. I feel like I have to hit the switch again, maybe? Maybe. It did move a lot of things. Oh, wrong button. 
And we've got to drop one more block and hopefully it'll reach. I gotta say, the ability to look like an owl and a bunny standing on their hind two feet with just a silhouette, it's kind of awesome. Definitely a little confusing at first, but not too bad. And it looks like it's continuing to add more and more different ways to interact with each other. I feel like this would be definitely a lot of fun to player. And you like figure out everything together. Too slow. I do not think I'm getting up there. <laughs> I feel like there's more to it. the uh, lever down there? Maybe. I don't know. No, I feel like I should have died there. <laughs> no, you just transport. Well, do you want to call this good on our demonstration? I think this is pretty good. I think it's definitely been a, a fun game to play and a fun game to watch. Definitely, definitely get two players if you want to play this game. I feel like you'll definitely enjoy it a lot more. And if you would like us to do a review of your game, just visit us at kindness.com community. Thanks for watching. <laughs>